one of the most common pushbacks I hear anytime clean energy comes up is this. Clean energy is just not reliable. That idea has been repeated so often that people just accept it as truth. But in December, we walk through what actually causes grid failures. And once you understand that, the reliability argument completely flips. Today, we're going to talk about why reliability in today's grid has very little to do with baseload and everything to do with flexibility. And if you value straight talk about how the grid really works, not energy myths that refuse to die, like the video, hit subscribe, and turn on alerts. January is all about solutions. Now let's get into it. For most of the last century, reliability meant one thing. Big power plants running all the time. Coal, gas, nuclear, always on, always spinning. That model worked in a world where demand grew slowly, where weather was more predictable, and where power flows were steady. But that world, it doesn't exist anymore. Today's grid won't break only because it lacks energy overall. It's also going to break because supply can't respond fast enough when demand spikes. We have heat waves, cold snaps, evening ramps. That's when outages happen. And when you look at the biggest grid failures of the last decade, the pattern is clear. Traditional power plants failed first. They had frozen gas supply, coal piles iced over, thermal plants derating in extreme heat. So the idea that fossil plants are immune to extreme conditions, it simply doesn't hold up. Here's the core misunderstanding. People confuse base load with reliability. Base load, it just means a plant is designed to run continuously. It doesn't mean it can respond quickly when conditions change. In a grid defined by volatility, always on is less valuable than instantly responsive. And this shift in how reliability works is exactly why companies like NextGen Clean Energy Solutions focuses so heavily on flexibility, not just generation. NextGen helps businesses and institutions deploy solar, battery storage, and microgrids that respond in real time, smoothing peaks, handling ramps, and maintaining power when the grid is under stress. Reliability today isn't about waiting for a distant plant to respond. It's about having control at the point of use. You can learn more about how that works in practice at nextgencleanenergy.com. And that brings us to why clean energy technologies keep winning on reliability even when critics say they shouldn't. Batteries respond in milliseconds, not minutes. Distributed solar reduces peak demand before it hits the grid, and storage smooths ramps instead of chasing them. Grid operators don't deploy batteries because they're fashionable. They deploy them because nothing else responds faster. In a system where demand can spike suddenly and unpredictably, flexibility is reliability. That's why batteries are now one of the fastest growing grid resources worldwide. Reliability in today's grid isn't about running nonstop. It's about responding when conditions change and conditions change fast these days. In the next episode, we're going to talk about one of the biggest stressors driving this entire shift, AI and data centers, and why local power beats centralized solutions every time. We'll catch you on the next one.